Hi there, it's Tracy here from the Papercraft Studio. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how to make my super cute He's the Man suitcase. Uh, I'm calling it He's the Man because that's the uh, name of the designer series paper, but it's so cute. So this is a belly band and it just pushes off, slides off, and then you've got this little gift box here. And actually it will hold quite a lot. You could put some tissue paper and pop a gift card in there. Um, it would hold sweets and cufflinks, um, whatever. And of course, you can make it a bit more um, feminine if you wanted to um, use some different papers. But I just thought it was a really cute idea. And we did this in as one of my class projects in um, September. Very minimal supplies um, is a really good one. You can get two of these out of one piece of um, cardstock. So you need some early espresso cardstock. And this measure, measures eight inches by five and a half inches. You need another scrap and um, we're going to use for these little corner pieces and this one under here and then for the handle you need a piece that measures four and a half inches by three quarters of an inch and you just need a piece of designer series paper um, this one here measures eight inches by three and a half inches so again you can get quite a few of these um, out of your um, sheets of paper you'll also need um, a scrap of very vanilla cardstock um, and the, the greeting I've used there, the little for you, which I use a lot, is from Simply Fabulous stamp set. And I just love the fonts on this. So let's go ahead and show you the scoring. Bringing my simply scored scoring tool. OK, so on the uh, short side along the top, you're going to score at seven eighths of an inch all the way down and then also at four and five eighths there. Turn it round and you're going to score on the long side, the long side across the top, you're going to score at one and a quarter, at two and one eighth, four and five eighths and at five and a half. Okay, ignore that little one there. Okay, and then while we've got this here, the handle, I'm going to score at, under here, <laughs> I was wondering where it went. So along the long side, uh, you want to score, I'm finding it easier to do it both at this end. So I'm going to score at three and a half and at four, turn it round and do the same. So three and a half and four. So essentially um, I've scored at half one, three and a half and four, but I just find it easier to score at this, this end. Okay, scoring all done. Yeah, just checking there. <laughs> OK, so we'll work on the um, the inside box first. So you're going to score on all these, um, sorry, fold on all these score lines. So two that way, four going this way, and then give them a burnish with your bone folder as you go. It's one of my favourite things to do to make 3D projects. Um, 3D projects and fancy fold cards are my absolute favourite things to design. And this could be um, adapted for many things. One of my lovely class ladies, her daughter's getting married and the theme is travel. So um, they thought it was ideal to make some of these as little wedding favours. So, you know, hopefully you'll find it useful. OK, so you can see here I've got a big section here, a smaller one, another big section. And then these two smaller ones. So one end, you've got a big section. The other one, you've got two smaller sections. We're going to work on the smaller sections at this end, OK? So the end where you've got two sections, you're just going to cut down this score line to the second score line and cut those two pieces out there. OK, the same on this side, you can come in from the side on the second score line and take these two uh, pieces out. So that creates the lid of your box on the inside. I'm just going to straighten that up actually because I didn't quite get it there. Okay and then turn it to the side. So this is what we've got so far and you're going to cut down these two score lines on both sides just to that first score line. So straight down and then on the square only, not on these ones, you're just going to notch in. So come in slightly at the bottom and cut up into the corner. Let me tuck that one away. So come in slightly at the bottom and cut up to the corner. And I call these my flower pots because it leaves you with a little flower pot shape. 
Okay, so turn around, uh, turn your cardstock around, do the same. So straight up the score lines on either side of that square in the middle. And then only on the square, just notch in and create your flower pots. So we're leaving the long rectangles here and here with straight edges. Okay, so that's all the cutting done. This is how it should look afterwards. Um, so on this side, so having it kind of bunching up as if it were like a little table, I'm going to use tear and tape, but you can use uh, whichever adhesive you prefer. You're just going to put a couple of pieces on these small tabs here in the middle. Okay. And then flip it over so you want this tape to be on the opposite side and these two at the bottom so not the one where we've not the one next to the bit we've cut away but right at the bottom here we're going to put two lines of tape on both sides of these okay so these top flaps here next to the sections cut out they have no tape on either side okay so first of all let me just show you with the tape on how it's going to build up so we're going to fold these tabs inwards and they're going to attach to this one that hasn't got any tape on either side. So that's just going to fold around like that, you see, and the straight edge here is going to meet the fold here. And you'll end up with like a little kind of throne, I guess. <laughs> Let me just show you with them both inside. So that's what you'll end up with and you'll still see these taped edges outside. So let's go ahead and take off the backing of these little tabs here, the tape on the little tabs. Like I say, they're attaching to the to this uh, to these two that hasn't hasn't got tape on either side. So you're just going to take this one. This edge here is going to line up with this edge here. So just bring it round and line it up as straight as you can on both sides. There we go. So like I say, you end up with a little kind of seat almost with these bits still showing. Then these two are going to wrap around the back to create that box, okay? So go ahead and take the backing off of these two tabs at the bottom. And just one at a time. I would line up this piece here with the top tab and get this line here as, as snugly round as you can because if you have any left over at the bottom, we can just trim that off, okay? So this is just going to wrap around, lining up that with that fold, lining up the top. And there we go. And like I say, if you if you need to, you can cut some off the bottom, but you should be fine. Okay, so you can, of course, put your bone folder in to, um, just to fix that tape, but that's the basis of the box, okay? So there's nothing holding that flap other than the belly band. So, talking of which, here's the belly band. So I've got my um, opening of the box here and I'm just going to rest the um, paper on top, roughly in the middle. And I'm just going to pinch along the top and bottom here just to create kind of a score line, but we're creating a rough one for now. And then with those pinched, we're going to do the same, a little bit fiddly, but on this back one here and just pinch roughly where that fold's going to be. And the aim is that we don't want this to be so tight that we can't slide it on and off, but it's just easier to wrap it round than to give you the precise measurements. So once you've got those rough pieces folded, just then fold each one. And you can see like mine here would be, you know, it's going off slightly wonky here. So just line it back up and then you can just put your proper crease in. Okay, and the same with this one line up these two edges to make sure they're straight and just run over with the bone folder and this way you'll have your creases where you need to be without having you know measured them out on the scoreboard okay so again with this at the front I'm going to wrap that back round just check it's a good fit still. and then flip it over and at the back you're just going to put tape along the bottom of uh, one of the edges the inside edge of the designer series paper. So we don't want this to stick to the box at all. We just want to stick it to itself. So I'm going to wrap that back up round to meet that there. And like I say, don't do it so tight that you can't slide it on and off, but um, you obviously don't want it too loose either. So take that off, line it back up. 
and then just kiss those two pieces together and that will still slide nicely in fact I've got one upside down there but that's fine okay so now for the decorating um you can see here probably see better on the bottom I've got some little corner pieces here and I created those using a retired punch so this one inch circle punch so you needed four of those um, and then we're going to cut them in half and um, if you don't have one of those um, the set that I'm using for this one um, is uh, are the stylish shapes dies. You can use this little one here. They're going to be slightly smaller, um, but they will work just fine. So you would cut four of those. And I've used the next size up to cut, um, or I will be, a very vanilla layer and also a um, early espresso. Okay, so like I say, you can use that smallest circle for speed, I'm just going to quickly show you on here. So I would cut one of these, or cut four of those rather. I'm just going to bring my trimmer in. And then right at this bottom end here, I'm just going to put it, there's a little gap here and you can just settle it, you know, in the gap. Use the cutter and just slice that in half. You're going to line that up better than I did, but it does work, believe me. So you want to end up with eight semicircles, okay? Um, so I have some pre-cut, and I'm going to go ahead and um, I've also pre-cut my circles here. I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I fold them because you don't want to see me cut four of those in half. Um, so what I did was I folded each one in half just by hand, give it a squeeze and then give it a going over with the bone folder. So you're going to do this with all eight of the semicircles. I'm not going to get you to sit and watch me do that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, fold all mine and then I'll be right back to you. OK, so two ways you can do this. So on each of these corners, you're going to put this straight folded edge onto this fold here but only stick it to the belly band okay so from the front it's going to look like that so always the straight edge meeting the straight edge of the belly band so you've got the curved edge coming into the middle and that wraps across kind of the top and the side okay so you're going to do that on all four corners you're going to wrap the top and the side or the bottom and the side, depending on which one you're working on, but only stick it to the belly band. So you can either um, pop some glue on either side of here. Just make sure it doesn't splurge, as always. So I've got glue on the inside, and I'm just going to line up the straight edges with the straight edges of this corner on the belly band. So just note it's on there, it's not on this piece. Okay, or you could use, if you prefer tape, um, put a bit across the middle here and then just um, do the same. Take the backing off um, if I can get it off. There we go. And then, like I said, straight edge goes towards the straight edge of the piece you're working on and wraps from one edge to the other. The thing with glue is you can move it with tape. Obviously, you have to get it exactly in place. But just make sure you don't stick it to the base of the box. So again, I'm going to do this on each corner. So wrap it around like that on each one, front and back. Oops, that way around. So not this way around, <laughs> like I just put that one on. So that's wrong, having the semicircle. Oh, fiddly. Semicircle towards the edge. You want the straight edge towards the straight edge. So you're going to do that on the front and the back. And I'll come back to you when mine are in place. Okay, I'm coming to do my last two and I just wanted to reassure you that they are going to overlap okay so probably if you use the smaller die from that set they won't um, but putting this one on here you'll see it will overlap with the other one so that's perfectly fine that's whoo slid it away that's what's meant to happen there okay so there's a slight overlap on those two so I'm just going to put the last one here at the bottom so I've done this side you can hold them in place to make sure they um, stay Ooh, if you're using glue for a little bit longer okay last one going on 
So it's just cute. It just makes those little kind of edges that you used to get on an old fashioned suitcase. Okay, so make sure you know which is your front. So the joins at the back, it doesn't really matter, you know, which way because you could just turn the belly band around when you come to put it on. But um, so I've got here, um, this is the faux suede ribbon in um, the main catalogue, the annual catalogue, um, gorgeous in early espresso. So I've cut about just over three and a half inches, maybe four inches. And with this, you can either cut it in half or um, what we often do on my projects is just take a glue dot, fold this over in the middle and just offset these little, um, these ends and pop a glue dot in between here just to fix it in place. You can maneuver it a little bit. I don't think I've got enough of a gap. There we go. And then you're going to, again, put another glue dot on the bottom and then just attach it to your box wherever you'd like that to go. So I'm going to have mine about here. And then, as I said, I went ahead and cut using the second smallest of the circles, um, one in early espresso and one in uh, very vanilla. And I'm using early espresso ink. And the for you, for you, I shouldn't say it too quickly, for you stamp here, just popping that in the center. So cute. So it can be used for any occasion then. And with these, I put a dimensional in between those and offset them there. So flip this one over and pop a dimensional in the center there. Flip it back and you're just going to offset those two there. And then I would suggest when you go to put this one on, um, put a dimensional either side of the ribbon, um, quite near, my backing's coming off already, but quite near the folded edge or however you've cut it. Have a little practice before you pop those on. And then they're going to sit on top there. My ribbon's not spayed out again. I wanted it slightly more like that. There we go. And pop that on there and then i am oh yes handle let me show you how to fold this so you've got your four score lines here so the two by the center you fold away from you like this and then these two on the back you fold back on themselves okay so fold away and then fold back to create that little kind of z fold there and just run over each of the score lines with your bone folder And then there you have your little handle shape like that. So we're going to put tape or glue on this flat, these flat edges here and stick them over those little semicircles. Um, again, just onto the belly band, not onto the actual box so that that belly band still slides. So you can use glue or tape, whichever is your preference here. Um, as always, if you're using the liquid glue, just give it a moment to um, dry. Do one edge at a time. Oh, pop that one roughly in the middle there. Oops, I want glue everywhere. That's the danger. And then have it coming up to this edge on those semicircles there. I'll just take that off to see that I've just got it on the belly band. You see there? So it's just on there. I'll slide that one back in, it keeps moving. So tape, tape might be quicker to stick, but at least I could slide that back in. And then this one just slides back on. Just a tip, when you're putting this back in, don't put too much in one end because obviously this top bit won't go in. So try and put the two corners, top and bottom in roughly equally, and then it will just slide in. And then finally, just to finish off, I have used, uh, it's also in the He's the Man suite, these rustic metallic adhesive back dots. Um, really cute, like these a lot. So just a bigger one. Um, you can scatter them where you want, really. Um, I'm just changing mine up a bit here because um, I had more space on this one than I did here. So actually, I'm going to change that and put it up the top. No, I'm not. 
I'm going to put them down there like that. There we go. So I hope you've enjoyed making uh, my He's the Man little mini suitcase. Take care. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>